Hi, here's JNM with a new Blender video about the built-in PBR shader in Blender 2.79, the current development branch of 2.78. You can download it here from blender.org. Just click here on download. And then choose one of these guys here in the bleeding edge section. I'm using the build for Windows 64-bit. Okay, for demonstration I am using a science fiction helmet made by a fellow artist, Michael Pavlovich. I added the link to his YouTube channel and to the model to the description of this video. Here I imported the model, it's quite big, so I scale it down. And here we have a first look in the render preview of cycles. Now open a node editor and then I will add a new material. This is the default, the diffuse BSDF. We can remove this and add the new PBR shader built into Blender 2.79. It is called Principled BSDF. Okay, why not? Then I connect it to the surface and now we are ready to add the texture coordinate node and all the image maps like the diffuse, normal, roughness and specular. Okay, first open the diffuse map. It's this one here with the underscore D. Connect it to the UV and then to the base color. Wow. This already looks promising. And the next node I'm going to add is the normal map. I copy this one and set it to non-color data. Don't forget to add the normal map node. And I'll leave it as tangent space. And then I will open the normal map image. Ah, really good. Looks amazing after adding the normals in. Okay, now the next map will be specular. I copy this from the normal map node. It is already set to non-color data. And then I select the underscore S, which stands for specular. Yeah, this is getting better and better. And now I'm going to add the last map, the roughness. So again, copy the node. And for the roughness, I select the image with the underscore G, which is gloss. And it could be the case that we have to invert this map Okay, this looks correct, so it seems like the shader doesn't need this gloss map to be inverted. And we are done. And now I will rearrange these nodes a little bit for you, so that you can better see the node setup to rebuild it on your own. Okay, now I will check my render settings, the resolution to 100%, 256 samples, and I also set the tile size to 256. Okay, press F12 to render this. Alright, here we go. I didn't use any fancy settings, no HDRI or post-processing or something like that. Just one light to get a simple and raw result. Guys, I hope you find this video useful and if you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe 
to be notified of new content. Thanks a lot for watching this and see you soon on JNM.